Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm playing with this beautiful palette. I finally got the Morphe Jacqueline Hill palette. I've been waiting for months to get my hands on this and finally got it after it was released on Beauty Bay a few days ago. So this is the palette. So obviously we all know what it's like by now. This gorgeous white and then Jacqueline Hill written in like a duo chromey reflective silver and then when we open the palette up we've got this gorgeous shade range and i am just obsessed with the colors in this palette you can create so many different looks with it one thing i will say though when this was delivered i didn't actually get the card that has any of the shade names written on so i have no clue what any of these shades are called so i do apologize for the tutorial where i'm just going that one and that one because i wasn't given the shade morphe and beauty bear you need to sort your shit out get me the card but anyway so this is the palette as we all know i think this one is my favorite color i haven't got a clue what it's called i'm sure it's pool party or something but that's what i've got on my lids today but yeah so this is the palette i'm so happy to finally have the palette in my hands i feel like i've been waiting an absolute millennium for it but yeah so if you would like to see how i achieved this look using the jacqueline hill palette then please keep on watching okay so i'm gonna go straight in with me anastasia beverly hills dip brow in the shade chocolate and i'm just gonna draw on some hair stroke style lines and then start defining my eyebrow so i'm just drawing a sharp line underneath the brow taking it right down to the tail end just extending the tail out and then I'm just copying that on the top of the brow and just joining it up. Then I'm just filling it through, softening up the front just to make it more of an ombre effect. Then I'm just setting those brows in place using my Maybelline Fibre Filler in the shade Deep Brown. And for eye primer, I'm taking my MAC Select Cover Up in the shade NW15. As always, just placing that across the eyelids and then gently carving out under the brow. I'm just patting that concealer in just to dry it down and set it. Then I'm just blending the edges using this small duo fibre buff and brush so there's no harsh lines when it comes to foundation later and just re patting that in as well. Okay so the first shade I'm going to take is Creamsicle. I actually googled the names of the palette since I didn't actually get given the card which is a load of crap if you'd ask me. So I'm just taking Creamsicle on this Zoeva 228 and using that as my transition shade. Just buffing that out, blowing it quite far out and I'm just building that up until I'm happy with the intensity of it. So to deepen up the crease I'm taking the shade Hunt on my Zoeva 224 brush and I'm just concentrating that a lot closer to the crease line and not, not taking it up as high as I took Creamsicle. So just gently blending that out. And then I'm just going back in with my 228 with Creamsicle and just blending them all together so there's no harsh lines. And then I'm going to take the shade Jax on my 227 brush. I'm just placing that on the outer third of my eye and then bringing that up through the crease ever so slightly and I am concentrating this directly in the crease line and trying not to take it up any higher at all so do take your time with this if you're doing this step. Then just going back in with the 224 and Hunt and just blending that out just so there's no sharp lines and it's all cohesive and blend it together. To cut the crease today I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape which is my new fave thing to use to cut the crease. It's so easy I didn't have to dip my brush back in once and I got the most pigmentation and coverage from it. That's like brilliant. So I'm spraying my brush with a touch of MAC Fix Plus and then I'm going to go in with Pool Party which is that gorgeous bright blue in the bottom corner. So I'm just placing that across the lid where I've cut the crease. Amazing colour. It's just gorgeous them bright colours in the corner. And then to blend the edge of that I'm just going to take Hunts again 
and just blur the line of that blue into the red colours. And then just to deepen up the outer third again, I'm going to go back in with Jacks just on this little tiny smudger brush. And I'm actually going to bring that just around the top of where I've cut the crease just to deepen it up and make it look a bit more, a bit more dimension to the eye. And I'm also going to take a touch of the shade Twerk, which is that deep blue, just to place sort of between the blue and the red, just to ease that transition into the two shades. And I'm just priming the under eye using my Tarte Shape Tape and buffing that out. I need to get used to not using so much product like I, have to, like I usually do. But I'm just going in with the sleek Ooh La La liner in Pumpkin. I'm trying to get some colour off it because as we all know my eyes just don't like eyeliner whatsoever. So I'm just running creamsicle under the eye quite far down and then going in with hunts and then going in with jacks as well and just blending them all together. I'm just keeping jacks pretty much on that outer third of the lower lash line rather than bringing it right the way in. Okay, so I just popped on some tatty lashes in the style TL4 and now it's time for the face. So I'm going in with my The Ordinary Foundation in the shade, I think it's like 1.5N or something like that. Just putting that all on with my Beauty Blender, well my Real Technique sponge. With an excessive amount as always. We don't do light coverage here. And for concealer, I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair, in all the usual spots. So highlighting the under eyes, the cupid's bow, the chin, and then the centre of the forehead and down the bridge of the nose, just to highlight all the centre of my face. Then just buffing that out using my Real Techniques sponge as well. And then just for those harder to reach areas, I'm going in with this little small duo fibre brush so I don't ruin any of the blend of my eyeshadow that I've just worked so hard on. And then I'm going to do a bit of cream contouring with my Lottie London foundation stick in the shade Amber Honey. So I'm just deepening up my cheekbones, the temples and my jawline and then doing a touch up the sides of my nose and under my bottom lip just to add such a touch of depth to me face, some dimension. And just buffing me forehead out with my Beauty Blender. Real Technique sponge, I need to stop saying Beauty Blender. And then just with the cheekbones, I'm taking this Real Techniques Duo Fibre Contour Brush and just blending out the very edge of that, just so I don't lose any of my colour payoff. And for highlighter, I'm taking my Iconic London Liquid Illuminator Drops in the shade Shine and just using them on the cheekbones, Cupid's bow and my down my nose and then using a touch on my forehead. To set everything in place, I'm using my RCMA No Colour Powder on this little peaches and cream brush and just setting the underneath of my eyes and then between the brows and the forehead. And then for bronzer, I'm going to take me MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Tan and just bronze up all my cheekbones and my temples. And then for contour, I'm going back to one of my old faves. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Original Contour Kit and I'm taking the shade Fawn, which is that centre shade, just to deepen up that contour on this Zoeva Cheek Finish brush. And I'm trying to hide my 17 chins. I look like I've only got one now. Then for highlight, I'm going to take my MUA Undress Your Skin Highlighter in the shade Radiant Cashmere. And this is a gorgeous colour, but I've noticed with my skin tone, it's leaving a bit of a brown cast if I don't blend it in properly, which is a bit of a shame because it is such a lovely highlighting colour. And then for lips, I'm taking my Bourjois Rouge Velvet Matte Lipstick in the shade 01. 
I went like on the look of that so I've just gone over the edges with my NYX liquid suede in the shade soft spoken I'm just creating sort of an ombre effect with my lips I'm just patting that in to blend them two shades together and then finally to set everything in place I'm taking my Mario Badesco facial set and spray with the rose water one and just wafting that so it all dries down nicely okay so that's the finished look so obviously i absolutely adore this palette i think the colors in it are amazing they just blend together well so perfectly i think this palette is a new a new little fave of mine just to go along with me huda beauty palette me desert dusk palette but yeah if you haven't got your hands on this palette and you're thinking mm, i don't know what i don't know where to buy it or not i i'd buy it because the colors and the diversity of colours is just amazing in this one palette with just 30 colours you can create so many different looks so it would be worth your money 100% it would be worth your money okay so that's all from me today I hope you enjoyed this video if you'd like to see more from me don't forget to hit subscribe below and click on your little bell icon so you never miss one of my uploads but yeah that's all from me if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you again soon in the next one